So recently I got in an argument with a Twitch chatter who said that Tuned Carburetor on Hillbilly was trash. I personally think Tuned Carburetor is a really good add-on, but everyone surrounding me was actually saying this is really terrible on Hillbilly. Moderately decreases chainsaw charge time, but reduces base movement speed to 4.4. Just like in my head. But that's just like Instasaw. If you have 4.4 movement speed, you just move fast. And like, you don't, all you need is that decreased charge time and you're in Instasaw Billy. Instasaw Billy was overpowered, wasn't it? But then I had to try it out. So I ran it with Pig House Gloves. I ran these two together to see how exactly I do on Hillbilly and why everyone thinks Tuned Carburetor is really, really bad on Hillbilly. Here's a video of my research and the games that I had, or the best games that I had, while using these add-ons on Hillbilly. I'm trying to find out whether this add-on is actually good or bad on him. Dude, what are you guys saying? This, this charge time's insane! Maybe I'll see you during, in a chase. This charge time is insane! This is you lose that chase tiles? Okay, we'll see. Dude, you went so wide. Oh my god. It's gonna jake. I could see this. boost it. <laughs> Her name is doesn't have DS smile. That's such a troll name. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> like, I know you have DS. There's no way you don't do in this play. It's not that bad, dudes. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not that bad. Maybe it's just because of the map we got. Oh, scuffed. I'm just scuffed. <laughs> it's not that bad. Like, the overheat is barely doing anything. <laughs> this seems good though. So, this is actually a true test to see how well it does against a good team. Actually, doing a Gen Z for friends play. game. Okay. Just realizing you're using the 110 out on. It's not that bad. I don't know. I'm using it as if it's old uh, um, Insta saw Billy. That's really it. This guy's gonna be boosted. You gotta keep in mind, with a with a moderately increases charge time, it decreases the amount of cooldown that you accumulate for every single chainsaw that you do. With a longer charge time, you actually accumulate more cooldown. So you actually get like six chainsaws instead of four. With without um without this add-on, you only get a uh, a base of four chainsaws per per round. It actually. Reduces them. It's actually not just a charge time one. It actually works passively as a cooldown. Um, uh, a, yeah, the overheat mechanic. It's got a passive um, overheat mechanic buff to it. So when you use punctured with this, it's like a double. Um, 
anti-overheat mechanic. But then the one thing that adds up is the that charge time. So if you reduce the charge time and you reduce that, that. Yeah. you're describing why punctured muffler is so strong. No, but the thing is, you're you're, you're ignoring the fact. That by increasing the charge time, you decrease the amount of overheat you accumulate because you're not ba you're not revving as 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 long. It's a passive, it's a passive overheat buff as well. So that's why you can kind of chainsaw like willy nilly. So you have a. Passive is usually overlooked, I'm assuming. It's not that bad. I think you guys watch too many, too much like YouTubers. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not that bad. I don't know. Unbreakable. Right, you watch too much coconut RTS. Uh huh. Ooh. I feel like if I went without any. Here's, here's, it's exact, this is exactly like, um, Iron Maiden on Huntress. Wind up, throw, wind up, throw, wind up, throw, wind up, throw. With Tilbilly, this is like, charge, go, charge, go, charge, go, charge, go. So, by decreasing the charge time, you decrease the amount of overheat that you accumulate when you charge up. And you also charge faster. So, this, this, there's another thing on here where, that, where, that's invisible, that's like, we did reduces the amount of overheat gained on charge up time as well because by increasing the charge up time or decreasing the charge up time you decrease the amount of cooldown um, overheat you get I, I don't think this add-on's bad but I want to keep running it down against the uh, the god squads to just to see how it does we're getting hard maps for Billy too in a way because there's a lot of like jungle gems to work with Rippers, go. She's not used to the charge time, she's boosted. 
Okay. Nice jump. That was my mistake. I should have hit that. Like, ah. Just did ish. So. I don't see how this is weak. I know they're boosted, but like an application when you just use it in chases all the time, I just don't see how it's weak. Like that, like it's just like ah. Uh. Like, what can she do there? She has to be on the tire, she gets down. She goes to the left, she gets down. She goes to the right, she gets down. If we have, um, if we don't have it on, she doesn't get down. Someone here. Don't they clearly don't have a good gaming chair? Yeah. Can you walk on this? That's it. My mistake. I gotta curve that more. Alright, right, this is where the 110 kind of hurts. Dropped it there though. We'll get some overheat for the pallet. On his jack. So we do this. She's boosted. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going a little too ham with the chainsaws, but yeah. Kind of get it. guys are doing it's not gonna hit that's just gonna make her lose her confidence it's gonna keep going straight not gonna hit unless she goes wide like this Now I'm doing these weird 180 flicks. I'm trying to catch them off guard a little bit. I'm slugging a little bit because they're playing a little, you know. It's 
special? Special? Yeah. asking for it they're just playing they're just running into me a lot i'm giving them multiple like chances though in comparison to the previous group this group's like getting destroyed oh my god Good job, good job, good job. Pretty well. He's gonna go up to the window. He's gonna drop that. I know it might be a little dizzying, but I'm just trying to play my best to see how this would do. You're cocky. You really are. Cocky lady! Oh my god. Excuse me? Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. I was just about to be like, game, what is this hitbox? Just so used to that. It's a huntress. Yeah, I'm doing weird stuff. Just, just don't question it. This is where we lose a 110 distance, but uh, LT wall, uh, four lanes, you shouldn't really like mind game this anyway. That's not the correct way to play this. Uh, I was playing four lanes wrong. Waltz. Waltz. She goes straight. She got a nasty setup here. Ah, the breakable wall. People bug. Another four lanes. Drops it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep going after this call that until she gets down. She's pretty good. Ah, oh, she goes to the locker. At this point, she knows I'm kind of like memeing a little bit. We would have got, gotten her there.
keep going, keep going, keep going. With a normal chainsaw, we get fucked here. Three pallets, though. Now, when you commit to chases, of course you get run, but you gotta drop chases a lot if you're running this add-on, it feels like. But that's normally how I play anyway, so it's whatever. She was just th throwing there. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't think it's that bad. Yes, we got ran, but um, I would have dropped that chase a long time ago in, a, in the a realistic scenario after she did this vault on this building. Right here. Woo. Do you know this survivors got sniped over and over and over again? This group was more boosted than the previous group. Okay. The previous group was actually not bad. They were they're pretty decent. Um, against a competitive squad, I don't know how this would work. But against like a, above average rank ones, it's not bad. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I think Toon Carburetor is really good, but not broken. What do you guys think? I still personally think it's really strong, but everyone else still thinks it's really bad. Ah, oh, am I the crazy one here? I don't know.